For the most part, I love the Digimon community. It's full of people who are passionate about the franchise. However, there's a part of it I cannot stand. The 30 year olds who think they know more about the franchise than you do because they watched 01 when they were a kid and maybe the first episode of 02 and didn't like it. Why do I mention this? Well, the reason buzz around the reboot, I've seen a lot of people go, why can't we get a new season with original characters? And the answer to that is quite simple. They tried giving us an original season and it didn't do well. Why didn't it do well? For one, Digimon Adventure Chai hove heavily over shattered it. And two, the fans not being able to accept change. A lot of the community dismissed Atmon as some spin-off that didn't matter, which in reality isn't the case at all. And it didn't help that some YouTubers kind of pushed this misconception. No hating on Billiam though, I love his videos. Before diving into my reasons, I should give a brief history about Atmon. Atmon was made to basically relaunch the franchise. Even the people behind Digimon said it was to give an update and rebranding of the franchise because Digimon as a concept was outdated. Which, even at the time, I disagreed with that statement. But after that, it was a modern take on the franchise, different Atmon based on different apps, and some even being official counterparts to Digimon. Still a part of the franchise, still the seventh season, but just a rebranding. Atmon are a subspecies of Digimon. They live within the internet acting as the apps they portray. The way I see it, this isn't official, this is just something I think. An Atmon is a Digimon, but a Digimon isn't an Atmon, if that makes sense. To see comments like these just seriously angers me, and shows a lot of people in the community are just people who grew up with the franchise and can't accept change. This one comment literally proving that point. Let me ask you, which is cooler, this? Or this? Yeah, that's what I thought. And I feel like I need to say this. If you don't like Atmon, okay, yeah, I can totally see why someone doesn't like Atmon. It does have problems. This video is just explaining why the show isn't a spinoff, not why it's objectively amazing or anything. I personally love the show, but that's neither here nor there. So with that being said, let's get into my reasons why the show isn't a spinoff. Why Bandai? Well, this just put general reasons in, such as toys, official Digimon media, promotional images, etc. The first being a live stream that was for Digimon Adventure 2020 news. In the beginning, it showed off all the past scenes of the anime in a little montage, including Digimon Universe Apple Monsters. It's clear to Bandai, you know, the people who make the show, consider it part of the anime and not a spin-off. This is a recent image of the newly announced Digimon 2020 Digivice. In it, you see all the Digivices of the older seasons, with the Apple Drive being there too. If the show was a spin-off, why would the Digivice be here with the others not its own thing? Like spin-offs typically are. I'm just saying. You don't see Nintendo including Link's crossbow training in with the other Zelda games, do you? That's what I thought. Digimon Universe had a full line of action figures for almost all the main Digimon in the show, with the exception being the super grades for Musimon and Dokomon, and the god grades for Musimon, Dokomon, and Hackmon. On top of that, we had a full line of a collectible gimmick in the same style as Kamen Rider and Super Sentai, because Bandai. And if that wasn't enough, it had a full card game, an entire video game on the 3DS. Spin-offs don't typically get nearly the amount of merchandise that Universe has. If Universe was a spin-off, it would just be a 3DS game that would be the most that would come out of it. Not a full toy line in 52 episodes of an anime. And just the amount of effort put into this as well. Hundreds of designs were made for it, and it's such a shame a lot of them will probably never be used, but at least the Digimon Twitter is posting them. Not to mention, Universe is really well animated and doesn't really scream a spin-off show to me. A huge reason why many people consider Atmon a spin-off is because of how different it is. No past Digimon, new concepts, etc. But when you think about it, it's not too terribly different from the past seasons. For example, would Digimon Frontier be in spin-off because the kids turned into the Digimon? And the lack of Digimon partners? Is Digimon Crosswords a spin-off because of Digi Crossing? Not to mention Shopmon doesn't even have a level or a standard evolution line. If anything, Hunters is a spin-off of the franchise. And recent argument I've been hearing is that it's a totally different universe where Digimon is nothing more than just a video game. Which to me is hilarious because it shows that adventure fans know nothing about Digimon. Almost all the Digimon shows are their own universes, including Tamers, the fan favorite. Tamers is in a universe where Digimon started out as a video game, with artificial intelligence going too far. So the whole game argument is just completely laughable and shows the ignorance of the community. In conclusion, it's a shame seeing so many people completely disregard something just because it's something different. Atmon had so much potential to be something bigger, but due to stuck up fans and Digimon Adventure Try, Digimon now is in a direction of nostalgia. But at least the reboot as of episode 3 is in a really good direction, and hopefully this is what brings Digimon back full force. But Atmon, 
I can totally see it becoming like the last season of the franchise, mostly because it doesn't have a dub and probably won't get one. And if any of you haven't seen it yet, it's on Country Roll, and I've been seeing a lot of people enjoying it. It has everything a Digimon season should. It gets dark, almost Tamer's dark. It has issues, but I can totally call it worthy of being a fan favorite, especially because it's an improvement over the last few seasons of the anime. And yeah guys, that does it for this video. This was like, maybe like the third or fourth scripted video I've ever done on this channel, so please leave me feedback, and you know, if you just like Digimon at all, subscribe to my channel, and this is, I'm not turning my channel to a Digimon channel, there's still gonna be like Nintendo, Dragon Ball, and all the other kind of stuff I like in this channel too, it's just recently, just, I've been on a Digimon craze, so I've been doing Digimon videos, as simple as that, but uh, if you enjoy this video, please sort, show support, even if you didn't like it, please dislike it because that actually tells me okay i did something wrong let me improve for the next video but with all that being said nick here from nick's air cave signing out see you guys in the next one